Hi, I'm Roger McGullis here at AI San Francisco 2018. I'm here with Kishore Derg, who is the head of growth and strategy at Accenture. Hi, nice to meet you. So we're here to talk about AI and like we understand that there's an AI imperative you guys have been working on. You can tell me a little about it. Sure. You know, as you look at a lot of these AI systems that are being built, and there are these systems are being built with businesses which are taking decisions and it's impacting human lives. So the clear imperative is that these systems that are being built needs to be transparent, responsive, uh, have to align with some of the societal values that are, that are out there, and essentially, ethically, they're taking the right decisions. So the imperative for us is to ensure that these systems as they are built are in the right track. It's just like, you know, when you look at uh, a kid which has to be taught the right things between right and wrong, uh, the right values from a societal perspective, and you want to ensure that they do grow up to be, uh, you know, strong uh, adults who contribute to the society. We look at the system similarly. The imperative for us is how do we ensure these systems are responsive and, uh, mm -hmm. and they uh, imbibe the societal values. So you're making a compelling case for that, but it's also why should businesses care about Do. this? So, you know, 92% of the business executives said, oh, we really want to get customers trust. We, we want to win their trust. A lot of the growth comes from, you know, a lot of our customers trusting our businesses. And aligned to that, if you, you know, customers have to trust you, you need to ensure that your systems are supporting that trust imperative, right? And that's, that's exactly why businesses need to care because we have seen a lot of things that have gone bad. You know, a lot of the conversational agents started learning things they shouldn't be learning. And there have been cases of autonomous vehicles going off track. There have been cases where you have machine learning algorithms picking up uh, the wrong behavior. So, you know, businesses, if they are gonna implement lease AI systems, uh, we believe that uh, they, they need to care because customers trust businesses which have, uh, you know, verifiable, explainable, trustworthy systems. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big imperative for business. So how does the Accenture teach and test framework raise responsible AI systems? So, and raise is a good term, given yes. the, the analogy with kids. Yes. So when you when you raise these AI systems, and just like kids, you, know, you need to teach, teach it the right way. So how, what are the things that you need to be worried about? A lot of the AI systems right now have gender bias, racial bias, ethnic biases, and a lot of the corpus of data that is used to train them are done by humans. So when you actually use the same data to train these AI systems, you're gonna perpetuate the biases that you have into a system. Now, this could be different in different parts of the world, but essentially what we have as a teach phase is we try to neutralize a lot of these biases. So essentially you have a corpus of data which is you know, neutral to the biases that are out there. That, that is what we call as the teach phase. And in the test phase, just like kids, kids make mistakes. As they learn new things, they are going out of your house, they're learning a lot and picking up a lot of new things. That when kids make mistakes, we teach them how to do it. And similarly for the, the AI systems, we have the test phase. So we monitor for uh, behaviors that are not ethically right and we address it. So it's a very simple construct of teach and test. It's just like bringing up your kids. Mm -hmm. I was curious, any reference to reinforcement learning? Hearing mm -hmm. you describing it, it sounds a little like... It is, it is very, very aligned with that. And, and, the, and I'm trying to simplify it for us so that people can understand what exactly we mean. It is a very complicated uh, algorithm in terms of how we de-bias these systems, how we uh, address these biases. There is also metamorphic testing that we use for some of the algorithmic issues that are out there. So. In, in, a, in a simplified way, we are looking at how do you raise kids. You need to ensure that these systems behave similarly. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, a use case would probably help explain this. Sure. I mean, just taking autonomous vehicles, and if you look at it, you know, how you need to ensure that these systems know there's a, there is a stop out there. It's not that you can, you'll be able to train everything. It would take one and a half to two years to actually train the systems to get every possible conditions that are out there. And there are cases where you're actually putting them out with a human to test them. And obviously they may not end up with the most uh, likely alternative in terms of what you would like it to be, because there are unknown parameters that you would have never taken care as you validate these systems. Uh, so one of the constructs we have there is around the knowledge representation, qualitative reasoning, 
uh, bringing Yak together with machine learning is a way to go to address these systems that are out there on the autonomous side. Mm -hmm. And essentially that will help us understand the, the knowledge graphs and reasoning on why it took a decision the way it took and builds in transparency in, in the decision making. And that is something that we have been working on. Similarly, on the, on the uh, data part of the equation, we have been working with banks to kind of develop virtual agents which are uh, neutralized from a gender bias, uh, racial bias and others so that uh, the corpus of data that's used to train these agents are, are neutral in nature and unbiased. And as they pick up and learn, we do look at monitoring of the activities that are out there. So even a virtual agent can go rogue. So <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a very simple way of looking at, you know, these systems that are out there. You need, you need parenting. Mm -hmm. You need to raise them properly and you need some governance. And that's, that's the construct of responsible AI. That sounds great. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much.